Here we are, yet again. Thanks for tuning in. MTGMD, that's me. We have for you a Core Set 2020 pre-release pack. Uh, it's been a hot minute since this released, but... Oh, we totally dropped that. You probably got a shot straight up my nose. I am, um, if you caught a glimpse in the video there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not even gonna edit that out, because this is unedited, no green screen, raw material here, but probably saw I'm using some plastic pieces to keep up my camera. And that's how I roll. That's what I got my setup for right now. Or that's what I have as a setup. Our pack promo is Garusa Small of Flames 3 and 4. Whenever it attacks, deal 4 damage to any target and 3 damage up to 2 other targets. So it'll throw a good 10 damage. Awesome. Uh, there was a code there. If you caught it, go ahead use it. I'm not going to. I'm looking forward to jumping right into packs here. I'll move this out of frame and put that in the background there. I'm going to skip a lot of these commons because, again, to my knowledge, there's not much money in the commons in 2020. Here we go. Meter Golem. Unchained Berserker. Overcome. Hey, look at that. We pulled the Planeswalker. Chandra, Acolyte of Flame. Two red and one other. Put a loyalty counter on each red Planeswalker you control. Zero. Uh, zero again. Create two one one red elemental creature tokens. Again, haste and sacrifice from end of turn. Or minus two, you may cast target insert or sorcery card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard. If it would be put back into the graveyard, exile instead. Jungle Hollow. And a token. Keep that there. Cool. Not a Mythic Planeswalker, but still, uh, I am a Planeswalker collector. I'll do a video eventually of my Planeswalker binder. Um, I only collect original prints, uh, and I try to foil them out, so that'll be going in there. Uh, I'll skip down through some of this stuff here. Convolute Murder. That's a cool card. Okay, Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Master Splicer. That's a reprint. Uncaged Fury and Embodiment of Ankenes. Agonies, excuse me. Two black, one other, flying death touch when he enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each different mana cost among non-land cards in your graveyard. Okay. Planes and a wolf. We'll set that off to the side. Four more packs. So if you recall back to the Core 2020 release, how'd you do? Any bomb pulls? Put them down in the comments. Moat. Piranhas. I wish it was the actual moat card itself. Just worth a hefty, hefty bunch. Diviner's Lockbox. Uh, choose a card name, then reveal the top card of your library. If that card has the chosen name, sacrifice it and draw three cards. Activate this ability only time you can cost, cast a sorcery. Uh, I was unfamiliar with that card. That's why I read through it. This is a good hit. Veil of Summer. This card is up to, last time I looked at it, like $4.70 for an uncommon. Uh, seeing a lot of playing standard. Great card, protects your dudes, lets you draw. So we're going to keep that up here. Spectral Sailor, he flashes in and can draw. Ley Line of Combustion. Uh, you can put this directly into play if you start the game with it in your hand. Whenever you and or at least one permanent control becomes a target of spell or ability and opponent controls, throw two damage at that player's face. Cool. Throw some damage back. This uh, pre-release pack would have been awesome to play red-green. During the pre-release. Hack to Treason. Go down a ways. Reckless Airstrike. Actual Prophet. Okay, Vengeful War Chief. Eternal Isolation. Herald of the Sun and a Temple of Silence. Um, not really worth any money, but we'll leave it up there. Just because. Just because those temples are reprints out of Thurls. Uh, convenient for organizing the top of your deck. But outside of that, don't really do too much. More of a casual play card. Uh, Frost Links, been reprinted quite a bit. Gravedigger, been reprinted a lot, but great card for sealed. Thrashing, Brontodon, he was, um, and is still useful in the right places. I know for a hot minute there, he was a hot commodity in standard. Portal of Sanctuary. Marooting Raptor, the red stuff just keeps coming. This would have been amazing for pre-release. Creature spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, he deals two damage to it. If it is damage 
excuse me, if a dinosaur is dealt damage this way, Marooting Raptor gets plus 2-0 oh until end of turn. So we hurt your other dudes, but can make them bigger. Last pack. Um, we've not had a Mythic in this box, and that's okay. It happens. That's just part of part of how things go. Right? You win some, you lose some, you get good cards, you get good bad cards. Gruesome Scourger. And you lose damage to target opponent or planeswalker equals to the number of creatures you control. You have to excuse me. Some of these cards I'm unfamiliar with. Um, so that guy throws damage. It's kind of cool in like a zombie deck. Loming Shaman. This used to be a rare in Dissension. That's the second, if not third, on Cage Fury. So again, this, this would have been amazing for pre-release for red. Elvish Reclaimer. So, on uh, no foils. Elvish Reclaimer, worth a couple bucks. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he sees play in Legacy. It's a format I'm unfamiliar with, so I could be wrong, but there you have it. We have the Veil, Leyline, Elvish. It's not too bad. Well, and with that, this is MTGMD. That's me coming at you saying appreciate you guys watching the video. And good luck with your polls, and we'll catch you soon.